Welcome to your Carolina News Fastcast. I'm Olivia Brown. And I'm Alex Wages. It's Tuesday, November 23rd. We have a lot for you today, so let's get started. We're going to start off with the body found at Rock Quarry on Bluff Road. This morning, the Richland County Coroner has confirmed that the body found is that of USC student Michael Keene. Monday afternoon, the body was discovered by sled helicopter after the Columbia Police Department requested an air search during the search of Keene. New data shows that South Carolina has one of the lowest rates of inmates recommitting crimes once they are released. According to the Department of Corrections, the chances of inmates committing crimes once they are released sits at 21.9 percent. We have ways for them to find housing. We have job training. We have education. In his first post-acquittal interview, teenager Kyle Rittenhouse tells Fox News he's, quote, not a racist person, quote, and backs the Black Lives Matter movement. This comes after Friday's verdict when Rittenhouse was acquitted on charges from killing two men and injuring another during the summer of 2020 in Kenosha, Wisconsin. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, Orangeburg has given 300 turkeys. The Salvation Army and Lanier and Burroughs Law Firm have been distributing food this week to help families put food on the table this Thanksgiving. The Salvation Army Army also plans on distributing 30 Thanksgiving boxes to Orangeburg County Tech students. But with the shortage, we did order early and we were a little concerned that we would not have enough turkeys this year, but a lot of prayers went on in that uh, law firm and um, a lot of people in the community um, helped us out and allowing us to get the 300 turkeys that we were able to get, fortunately. Continuing the holiday spirit with the Salvation Army, you can expect to hear bells ringing entering your favorite stores shopping this year. The Salvation Army kicked off their Red Kettle campaign on Monday right on the steps of the State House. Individuals can place monetary donations in the Red Kettles outside the stores to support year-round programs of the Salvation Army. Burning to the ground, on Monday night, Carolina students stood on Bluff Road in a field and watched the annual Tiger Burn. Each year, students in the College of Engineering and Computing build a tiger to burn for the week of the Carolina and Clemson football game. Speaking of those Gamecocks, let's head over to Jackson Fields with an update on our sports. Thanks guys, I got sports for you. Number one South Carolina women's basketball team faced number two UConn in the inaugural battle for Atlantis. The Gamecocks were down 36-33 at the half, but heading into the third quarter, the Gamecocks chipped away at UConn's lead and let it come back. USC's defensive effort allowed them to defeat UConn 73-57. If you need to take a step outside this week from the dinner table, it looks like you'll have some clear weather to do so. Let's go to Anna with our forecast. Thanks guys, it's going to be a nice and cold weather this Thanksgiving. On Wednesday it's going to be sunny, a high of 55 and low of 27. On Thursday it's going to be partially cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 28. And on Friday it's also going to be partially clouded with a high of 57 and a low of 34. That's all I have for you this Thanksgiving week. Back to you guys. Thanks, Anna. And finally, an Emerald Girl Scout troop is bringing some birthday joy to families around the Midlands. The troop realized that not every person is fortunate enough to have items to celebrate with it on their birthdays. So they made celebration bags with Harvest Hope filled cupcake supplies and goodies for families in need. That's going to be it for your Carolina News Fastcast this week. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Gobble some turkey, eat some pie. We'll see you next week.